G'day guys, it is day 130, so only 10 days between videos here, but uh, there's been a fair bit happening and, and on a personal level I've been doing a fair bit in the yard, so let's go take a look. So most of our plumbing work's getting close now, well I should say most of the plumbing work's 50% done, no downpipes yet, got our great big detention system underneath there, a bit of base work's been done here, this is where we're going to have some concrete poured around here and into the garage. Gonna have a bit of a pebble area in here. Some pebble, pebbles will act as a um, bit of a feature as well as a uh, parking bay. Got all that irrigation through here. Gonna have a little patch of lawn there. I wanna camp on that when I'm here. I wanna pitch a tent and camp on that bit of lawn. Front door, all finished off, looking absolutely spectacular with these recycled pavers. Recycled bricks from the, um, from the build. Let's go take a look inside. The garage is 99% there, so that's given us the opportunity to store some stuff in here. You can see the wall, that's a winter mushroom. Pretty cool, I like the colour contrast between the ceiling and um, the walls, which is awesome. Monument on the doors and that type of thing. As you can see, no floorings in yet, so we've still got a bit of flooring work to be done. There's our walk-in pantry. Kitchen's complete. Bar the tap fittings, which is the plumber's work, like I said, 50% done. Got all our stone benches done the other day. Looks like all our hot plates and ovens are in. Uh, this is the lounge room. Have a look at that beautiful big window. Um, unfortunately, there's going to be a fence there, so we're going to cut off two-thirds of the view there. But we still be, will be able to see probably about that, I reckon, out there, as long as this house in front of us isn't a bloody gigantic mansion, which it probably will be. Uh, looks like the TV's going to go there, which is cool. We'll have a nice couch sitting in this area here. Dining table's going to go here. That opens up, these sliding doors open up, adding to the alfresco area, which will then have a nice little patch of lawn. Let's wander through here to see where we're at. Tiles are in. Everything's done in there, minus the, looks like the grout still need to be done over there, um, and all the tap fittings. Toilet, that still needs to be tiled. This bathroom is pretty well done. We've got our vanities put on. The weekend, that looked pretty cool. Whoa, who's that little guy? And uh, into this bedroom, this is all looking good through here. It's gonna be a nice little, nice bit of sun coming in this room. This will almost be the sun room, I reckon, we'll call it. Uh, these are the cupboards for the vanities. They look pretty schmick. Hallway straight through here. Into our second bedroom. Built-ins, all finished in here, minus the floor. Let's go back out here and take a look. So the fridge is going to go right here. Another bit of storage space in there. We'll go into our fourth bedroom now, or third bedroom, I suppose you can say. Nice big window. This is going to be a little bit. This is going to be a nice bedroom. It's going to be nice and cool in here. Doesn't get too much hot sun. Um, another built-in. Uh, looks like we've got a bit of a door handle going there. And this is the main bedroom with an ensuite. TV is going to go there. Bed head will be down there against that window. House is looking cool through here. To uh, toilet and shower in the as part of the ensuite is, is being popped in. That's it there. So we're gonna, there's going to be a bit of glass coming through here, I'm presuming. Or there, I'm not sure. Um, going to be a little bit of an area for to store all your, um, your toiletries. Uh, toilet, toilet holder. Here's toilet roll holders there. A little vanity, which is pretty cool. And who's this big guy? Woo! And back we go. So that's that. We might just sneak out the backyard. What do you reckon, guys? Let's go. Don't, I didn't want to send this video too long, so let's take a look at what I've been up to over the last few days. Use these use these brick edging. Recycle that. Put them on their end. That's going, going through there. Same with through here. I even had enough time to put a clothesline up, so check that out. And all of our irrigation is in from this backyard. So as you can see, I've Mate tried to make up some nice clean curves with some mod wood. Sneaking around here. This the planting out of this job will be very, very basic. Uh, I'm in the process of obtaining some lawn seed that's going to be suitable for this area and that will hopefully grow. Uh, so getting onto that, and next time I'm down here we're going to seed the lawns and make it happen. This bit here, like I said, all the plumbing work is 50% complete at the best, maybe 30%. Should have been 100% done, but it's 30% complete, let's say. I've left a little bit of soil there just to top up these lawns, and uh, happy days. So, oh, and the most important thing, 
thing I've been looking forward to the most on this whole build is my outdoor shower. So I've had, had the time to uh, build a bit of a slab. That's all plumbed in there. And um, this is where the taps will be, or the head and the taps will be mounted just there. So pretty excited to see that all come together. Um, but I'm gonna use some different pebbles, um, some nice natural rock steppers. Um, there's gonna be some cool stuff and, and plenty of native plants on this job. I'm gonna plant out quite a few natives because I don't wanna be out here maintaining it and I want something that I know is going to survive uh, you know, the summers here. Even though I'll have a fully, irrig fully computerized irrigation system. Um, it's very echo in there actually, very echo. Um, I'll show you where my computer is going to be mounted. So I'm going to pop the computer right here. So that does remind me I need to get enough wire to get from there all the way here underground and back to where my manifold will be set up, which will probably be about here. Let's step that out right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need 10 meters, so I better make a note of that in my phone. 10 meters of computer wire, three solenoids, and a computer system. So that's our house build. Let's just stand back and last thing, give me some feedback. Which color am I gonna go for? So I went a bit crazy and painted that blue, but I got in trouble for my wife. So now we've got to pick out, pick another color. And uh, my, the color that I like is that black called night sky it's a part of the color one range the other option is that gray color but I want to be a little bit different just about every other house out here has got a gray in it I don't like that I just don't like being the same as everybody um, you've got to be a bit bold sometimes and a bit different to stand out and that's sort of my personality so I would like I would love a bit of a color through there as in a bluey green or something related to Jade because this is Jade place and the ocean's just down there. The sky's always blue down here. I don't know, that's just me. But um, anyway, if you've got any suggestions of which colour I should go for, let me know. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and probably the next video I do will be when the landscape is pretty close to being complete, and then I might do one when it, when it is complete, and hopefully we've got some grass growing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and uh, most of all, have a great day. See ya.